you're looking at one of the biggest aluminum bodied productions car, well, ever. In switching from steel body panels to the lighter weight material on the 2018 Ford Expedition SUV, engineers were able to reduce mass by up to 300 pounds. That number likely applies to the extended wheelbase MAX model, the heavier something is, the more weight it stands to lose, while the regular length Expedition has grown inside and out and still loses weight. These new models are also a lot more handsome. The current Expedition, which has had the same basic styling since 2007, looks a bit ungainly. For 2018, the design is much softer and better differentiated from the Ford F-150 pickup with which it shares parts. From the side, the look is maybe a bit generic, with a big Explorer feel to it, while the front end is a nice blend of cues from Ford's crossovers and the updated 2018 F-150 pickup. You can also see some similarities with the Chevy Tahoe and Suburban, the Expedition's main big SUV rivals. The body-on-frame utility will continue to be offered in 4x2 and 4x4 variants. Power again comes from a 3.5-liter EcoBoost twin-turbo V6, the 2018 Expedition will get the latest version of that engine backed by a 10-speed automatic transmission. Ford isn't talking output numbers yet, but we expect it to have roughly the same power as the F-150 with this powertrain, which makes 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. It comes with engine auto stop-start as well as active grille shutters to manage airflow and improve fuel economy. Synthesized engine sound is piped in on all models, likely to simulate the tone of a V8 while the top platinum model gets active noise reduction. Continuously controlled dampers, what Ford calls its adaptive suspension, will once again be available, and the Expedition keeps its independent rear suspension, with a revised suspension design up front. It will all have less weight to deal with, which should mean an improvement in ride quality. But most people are probably more concerned with the interior and all of its available gadgets. The available all-wheel drive system retains a two-speed transfer case and adds the terrain management system dial from the Explorer, which lets you tailor the vehicle's systems for what you're driving over. An electronic locking limited slip differential will be available as well. To free up space on the center console, the new Expeditions use an electronic shifter with a rotary dial. As before, the Expedition and its long wheelbase counterpart offer three rows with eight seats, or seven if you go for the optional captain's chairs. The basic interior structure is borrowed from the related F-150 pickup, which is especially evident in the front row. Differences include details like the door skins and the addition of a second small glove box for the SUV. And to that end, this 2018 model has twice the cubby space of the old one because Ford found that current owners have theirs so packed full of stuff. If they're not careful, the extra space will result in more stuff crammed in, negating a lot of that weight savings from the switch to aluminum, and between cup and bottle holders, there are 17 places to stick a drink in the new Expedition.